Okay. So welcome to today's broadcast. It's just 10 minutes out of your day, 10 minutes about type 2 diabetes and traveling abroad. As you can see, I'm in wonderful Paris, France. And um, today I'm going to talk about some of the things that I've needed to have traveling to Paris. Um, so I'll start off by saying hi, my name is Felissa DeRose and Paris has a very special place in my heart. And why is that? Number one, because it's where I started my weight loss journey, um, my very first trip to Paris and I'll be blogging about that experience. It's also the place where I met my wonderful husband. <laughs> And it is the city that I've come to quite often. Um, and coming before I had diabetes and coming after diabetes, there were some changes. So I wanna share those with you. And the first thing to be aware of is it's important to have a medical alert bracelet because when you visit Paris, you're gonna do a lot of walking and sightseeing and it's easy, and it, and it's easy to miss out on your meals that, <laughs> that you may have. Like yesterday, I realized that I totally blew through my snack and that I needed a quick pick me up. Uh, so this one, uh, I absolutely love it. I got it from stickyjewelry.com. Um, it goes everywhere with me. So just make sure that you have your medical alert bracelet when you're traveling. Uh, second, uh, it's important to know how to say I have diabetes or I'm diabetic in the language in which you're traveling. When I went to China, I wrote it out on a piece of paper because my Mandarin was just absolutely horrible. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try this out in French. Um, and to say uh, I have diabetes, it's je la diabète. So again, that is je la diabète. So I have diabetes. Um, that's important because if ever you're out and someone doesn't speak English and you're having a crisis, you need to know how to let someone know that you, in fact, have diabetes. Okay, someone said they can't hear me. Is that, uh, is that the case for everyone? Can someone let me know if they can hear me? Sorry about that. I will repeat it. Can you hear me? Okay, I'll just give it a second. Oh, okay, so Ed can hear me very well. Um, two people can hear me very well. For the person who can't hear me, um, maybe try your phone. Maybe it's on your end. Um, thank you everyone for telling me that they can hear me. Uh, I will continue with my horrible French. <laughs> um, and the next thing you need is, walking shoes, um, walking shoes, because you're going to do a lot of walking. And when you have diabetes, sometimes you may experience neuropathy or something like that. And you want to have the perfect walking shoes. Um, and also something you need to be aware of is that here in Paris, public restrooms are few and far between. Uh, so you want to make sure your blood sugar numbers are good because if they're high, everyone knows what happens when your blood sugar is high, you have to go to the restroom quite frequently. This is not the place you want to experience that. Um, a, little, a little hack for you uh, is McDonald's <laughs> is a great place to go. Uh, they're practically on almost every other corner but typically you're going to have to pay for a restroom and public restrooms are just not that easily accessible. Uh, so again, make sure you're in a healthy condition where you can kind of hold it uh, if you need to. Um, and then one of my favorite things is the French, French pastries. So I'm going to show you, I have a little demo. The good thing is it's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So it's around lunchtime because these teasers are going to make you hungry. <laughs> so this wonderful delicacy is called a panelaison. You hear how I'm better at saying the food than I have diabetes. Okay, I'm working on that. So it's a panelaison. And this used to be my favorite pastry. 
isn't it yummy? It's full of raisins and God only knows what kind of yumminess. So I want to tell you how diabetes has changed my life. Before I had diabetes, when I came to Paris, I had one of these probably every single day. And now that I have diabetes, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a carb count. I don't know what it is, but it's dense enough for me to know that it's probably full of carbs. But here's a little hack for you. If you have diabetes and you really want to try pen raison, go to an artisan bakery. Not just any bakery, but the artisan ones. That means those are the people that are authentically making the bread in the back of the store by hand, okay? I don't know by hand, but the bread is made there. And you will find these. Isn't this so adorable? It's a mini pen raison. So now this is my life in Paris before type 2 diabetes and after type 2 diabetes. What a comparison. <laughs> um, so yeah, I still don't know the carb count in this, but I'm sure it, it fits into my regimen. Um, and the good thing is about an artisan bakery is that they do the same thing with croissants. So this is a regular size croissant. And then this is the mini one. So I would encourage anyone um, who's coming to Paris, you have to have a pastry, right? I'm not a nutritionist. A nutritionist would probably tell you don't eat it. Me, I tell you how to <laughs> eat it. Um, so go for the mini ones. Um, and they're, they're the ones that we can figure out, you know, in our carb count. So this has been like, you know, my 10 minutes are almost up. And I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've done to manage diabetes while traveling abroad in Paris and then some of the changes that I have also experienced. If you have any particular questions that you'd like to ask, this is the time um, to ask them and I can see them and then I'll give you uh, an answer back from them. Uh, and if you uh, miss some of the video, you can go to zubialive.net and watch it again. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Uh, I blog at diagnosenottofeedit.com. You can follow my blog there. I'm also at Black Diabetic Info. And if you would like to know some of the information about my travels, I started an Instagram page at Black Diabetic Info where I critique airplane food. So it's really fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have a question. And that question is, what's the most exciting part about my visit to Paris this time? Um, the most exciting part about my visit this time has been going back to the Louvre. Uh, my very first trip to Paris, I went to the Louvre and I went back there this trip and I've lost 90 pounds. Uh, since then, it's been 11 years and going back to that very spot that began my weight loss journey uh, has been very, very emotional and interesting. So I'm going to share more um, about that. So again... Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can find me at diagnosenottdefeated.com or blackdiabeticinfo.com. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. Thank you very much for signing in uh, on to Zubia Live. This is my first time going live. I appreciate your support. Again, blackdiabeticinfo.com, diagnosenottdefeated.com. Bye.